with the best part of 3000 kilometers traveled on electric in the summer of 2023, I'm getting a feel for how much the infrastructure is evolving in France. So this year again, we are checking if the charging stations are adequate, even for a small battery vehicle. This is my report on rate of success, waiting time, are there facilities, what's the price. So we go through about 20 stations, two thirds of which are IONIT, and that's because I'm a subscriber. So let's go through those stations. Let's have a look at them with the music and then I'll come back for the summary, looking at all the data and the stats. Okay, so let's look at the summary now. If you look at the chargers first, it's 2 NG, 13 Ionity, 1 Shell, 2 Total, and the rest not so familiar. So did we charge in all cases? Yes, with one exception, which is in the Jura Mountains, a single charger that was supposed to work on 50 kilowatts and was only delivering 11. So if it had been a really important one, I think it would have been a little bit problematic for us because that's a lot more weight. There's a couple of restart we had to do, but nothing too problematic. Again, if your car doesn't have a nap, the risk is you're somewhere else. So that's not ideal. It's far from 100%, but it's not bad. I would say 20 plus out of 21 on that measure. Very importantly, the second thing after did you indeed charge the car is did you have to wait? And the answer to that question is no in most cases, but again, with at least one major exception. So on a Sunday on Ionity Long, 
we waited 40 minutes there was a long queue and then we had another two where there was maybe five minutes you you have to wait a little bit until someone departs you're you're not really queuing but you're just uh, trying to get there the second one of those five minutes wait was to shift from the 50 kilowatt which was available and we did charge from that for a few minutes and to get a faster charger all the rest actually no wait and in some cases as we're going to see in a minute huge availability so i would say it's a three out of 21 on weight and a 50 minute total which knowing that we were traveling when everyone else was that wasn't bad next question though is to get a better sense a better feel for how busy those things are let's look at how many cars were there and for how many slots were available so if you see a gray box that means it's fully available if you see a black box that means that it is already busy and if you see a cross that means one of them is not working so as you can see uh, some had huge availability ng eurotunnel in calais very much availability at that point on the lyon one it was a 16 charges and none of them was in use very impressive the ionity and maybe because a lot of folks like me have the subscription we're going to talk pricing very soon you can see these are well used not all of them and depends on the day because the same station on a sunday gets pretty much fully used whereas on the monday this one is not that much used similar hours of the day as well now some are probably a little bit under capacity so just two or three charges including one that doesn't seem to work well that's not good enough i think for an ionity these days um, and then of course as we've said one of them had the 14 minutes wait and therefore was fully booked overall it's quite busy on the ionity but again doesn't necessarily mean that you end up waiting and some really need to be used a lot more is it easy to start because that's the other thing you don't want to be fiddling around for too long and i would say this is something that should still be improved for this year i use really the hyundai card for ionity or electroverse and that's pretty much it um, in fact i tend not to play around with the apps anymore and in some cases you can use the credit cards we know in the uk it's mandatory in france not so much the case uh, yet in the main it worked uh, but one of those that took the uh, that was the icing on the cake a shell station that does not accept the shell card i found that not very funny at all uh, having said that it did uh, work with the credit card and that was quite easy to use with the credit card but in general you know maybe you need one card rather than another and that's not great but if you've got the yonde card if you've got the electroverse uh, typically you're looking good so this is probably the one thing that is definitely a number are there facilities nearby the answer is yes to that there was just one uh, where it was actually closed on a Sunday but all the others you're on the motorway you've got the service station facilities and if that's not the case you get something else so that that's very good indeed finally on the price uh, quite a bit of a range but uh, in France it's typically a bit cheaper there is good availability of nuclear power stations in the country the electricity is also capped at least for residential um, it tends to be cheaper now of course on ionity on the old subscription which i am still on luckily enough it's 25p but you can see that some are super expensive like for instance using the yonde card on total doesn't make sense it would have been actually much cheaper to just use the credit card or electroverse for that matter um, so not perfect there but 35 pence overall which is fantastic it is very cheap indeed and then in terms of total kilowatt hours we've done about 325 kilowatt hours of charging so altogether, i would say the experience is good 
and it is broadly similar in terms of ability to charge compared to last year it was slightly worse last year in terms of waiting time i think the number of stations and the availability in general has massively progressed in france compared to last year so that's that's really good um, it doesn't mean that they're all free all the time as we've seen you can you can get into a peak at some point uh, lunchtime on a Sunday of travel when everyone travels and if you're on the north to SAS uh, motorways in France like the A6 for instance that's going to be a bit problematic potentially um, but overall good and then easy to start again I think that's an area where there's plenty of opportunities for plug and charge um, the ability to have things automated fewer cars more interoperability more payments with credit cards all of that can improve quite a bit still and then no problem with facilities and in our case a very decent price indeed so i think that's it for today this is our summary thank you very much for watching leave the comments leave uh, your impressions about the trips that you've taken maybe you've done the same in different countries and how is it evolving for you all of that is very interesting again thanks for watching and i'll catch you another time